Okay, so I started filming yesterday the video I was going to film for the Hocus Pocus collection from ColourPop and I got interrupted. I had to take a phone call from my sister and it was a little more important than the video because family first. But anyway, I'm going to start filming again today. I have a better top on anyway. The look I did last night was really cute, but it was very unfinished, so I was like, I'm not even going to show this. It's on the inside, but I'll show you again, just in case. But I'm going to do a really fun, like, I think purpley pink look. Um, the I'm obsessed with the orangey one color here. <laughs> and then this color, Dead Man's Toe. Just gorgeous. Like, I think I might use a little bit of Coven today, too, but... Yeah, love, love those colors. Now I'm going to get into the palette. Um, the first color I'm going to go into is On Toast. And this is the really... Actually, I'm going to go in with Hello Salem first because when I did this look yesterday, um, Hello Salem's a little bit darker and I want On Toast to be on top. So I'm going to do Hello Salem first. And this color is so pretty. It's like a really dusty like pink mauve color love it so much. I'm going to go in with another brush and I'm going to do On Toast which is this orangey color right here. A lot of people are upset about the colors. They feel like they should have stayed true to the Hocus Pocus like colors like the dresses that they wore in the movie. And I kind of agree, like I was expecting more vibrant, vibrant colors to be honest, but it's still a great palette. Like the colors are a lot, are a lot more neutral than what I was expecting, but I guess that just makes it more everyday makeup. Like you can wear it more often outside of, you know, Halloween looks and stuff like that. So, okay, so now I'm gonna wet my brush. And I'm going to go in with the color Coven, which is this really pretty, like, it's not really picking up on camera how pretty it is, but it's like this really pretty, like, almost like a dark champagne-y, sparkly, um, light brown color. So, I'm going to do that. I'll be right back. Alright, so I'm going into Coven everywhere. Oh my gosh. Okay, this color is very brown. Like, it's showing up a lot more brown than what I was expecting it to. Some people had it in their carts and they were able to purchase it. I was one of those people that, I don't know how I got through, but I got through. And I was able to put it in my cart quickly, purchase it. I got received confirmation and then about a week later it shipped. And that was the first day it came out. And then the second day, I think they had, they didn't have as many crashing problems, but a lot of the stuff was already sold out. And I just haven't had time to go up there and a lot of people were saying it's sold out. Fun fact, I did call my, the Ulta um, near me before the palette came out, like the day before to see if they would have it and they had no idea. So everything was kind of weird with communication. I'm just kind of mixing those together as I go. And now I'm going to go in with another color. I'm going to go in with Hello Salem and just kind of put those together. I'm going to go back into Coven again and blend those. Okay, so for the center, I'm going to go in with this beautiful gold color, which is called Brew Potion. Gosh, there's so much fallout. Ah! It's like getting everywhere go in with this really gorgeous gold color right there and I'm gonna go on the center really quick and just dab that so it blends a little bit better and I'm using my finger because I feel like these color pop glitters do so much better when you just kind of dab it on the center yeah that looks really good okay I'm going to clean this up and I'm going to go get more coffee because um, I feel like I'm kind of falling asleep. It's still kind of early. <laughs> so I will be right back. I went ahead and got some more coffee. I love this coffee cup. It says strong enough to wake the dead. And it is. It's pretty good. 
Um, okay, so I did foundation and just top liner, mascara, all that. So now I'm gonna go underneath my eye with this palette in the color Dead Man's Toe. This is one of the prettiest colors, in my opinion, in the whole palette. It's like a really gorgeous, like, pinky purple color. I do wish they had a purpley, like, color in this palette as well. But they do have a purple eyeliner, which I'll go over in just a second. But I want to zoom you guys in a little bit more. So oh, I think what I'm gonna do because I'm me and everything, I'm gonna put, <laughs> I'm gonna put a little bit more um, glitter on my eyes. And I got both of these beautiful, glitterly obsessed um, glitters in the packaging, as I'm sure everyone has talked about by now is gorgeous like i i would like carry a bag or something with this pattern on it with little cauldrons and like it's just so cute but i got the purple one and the gold one and um one of them is a muck a muck a muck that's the purpley one i'll probably wear this for halloween with my costume to be honest and then the gold one is um called another glorious morning so i'm gonna put the gold one on the center of my eye because i i like glitter i i mean if if you know you know and i like glitter by the way this mirror is freaking bad <laughs> i got it from amazon and i freaking love it um Robert Welsh, another makeup artist, had it and he posted it on um, his YouTube um, where he got it. And I found like a ton of really cute hand mirrors while I found this one. They had one that was like cat ears in like kind of the same design. I almost got that one, but I just was feeling the bats. So I got the bats, but I just put a little bit just now on my eye and I like just a little bit like looks so cute like I love textured glitter yes so I'm just like barely dabbing my finger into the glitter pot but like not too crazy yesterday when I was playing around with this like I got way too much on my eye I like really went into the glitter but this is so cute Okay, I'm going to stop there. I'll put glitter all over my face because I'm known to do stuff like that. Okay, so the green one is Black Flame Candle. Orange is Sista's. And the purple one is Trick or Treat. Look at the tube. That's cute. It has like little eyes on it. Okay, so that one's Trick or Treat. This one is Black Flame Candle. It's green. And then we have Sista's, and that's like the, what the heck is that? What, what the, okay, so the top of this is kind of jacked. Uh, I don't know what happened. It's very pretty though. I, that might be my favorite one so far. The, the, there was something very strange going on with the top of that one. So those are the colors. And I am going to go under my eye with the um, purple liner, cream gel liner from ColourPop and from this collection. Um, it's called Trick or Treat. And I'm going to just go over where I did the, the dead man's toe. And my eye is watering so freaking bad right now. If it could stop doing that, that would be great. I feel like it made that much of a difference. But if you were here, you'd notice, maybe. <laughs> okay, so now I'm going to oh, waterproof mascara underneath my eyes, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I am now going to do lashes. I've got Clever Witch, which are kind of like a basic lash. And online they look like they were tiny, but actually they're just normal. Um, I will probably wear those. Um, online flirty la flirty witch lashes look bomb, but actually I think they're going to be kind of 
a little bit much when I put them on my eyes. Um, and then there's the Boss Witch, which are the ones I'm going to use today. So these are the Winnie um, pair of lashes. And they're like really spaced out nicely. So I think it's going to be really pretty. So I'm going to put those on really quick. And also I put on some blush because I felt like a little bit dead. So I put on some blush with my makeup. And yeah, I'm going to put those lashes on and I'll be back. Okay, so I put on the lashes and honestly, I can't even tell I'm wearing them. I'm a little disappointed. I thought, <laughs> and that's my own fault because I guess I like don't realize how long my own lashes are. But yeah, I mean, they just made my lashes look thicker. They look very natural. Like these lashes like kind of get lost in my own lashes. So I'm gonna try the flirty, I'm gonna try the flirty witch lashes later and I think they'll be a little more dramatic. But yeah, these are the boss witch. These are nice if you have like shorter lashes, they would probably be perfect for you. But for me, they just kind of make my eyes look, um, make my eyelashes look a little bit thicker. Which isn't a bad thing, it's just a different look. Okay, so now we're going to get into the lipsticks. I swatched them in another video. I think I'll just go ahead and, like, show you that clip. Okay, I put a spell on you. This is supposed to be the Winifred one. It looks like kind of an orangey red. And let me just say the detail. I'm so glad I got these lipsticks because they're so beautiful. Like, they feel very high quality. And like I love the cauldrons and skull and crossbones. They feel heavy and they feel exp more expensive than what they were. The color is very, very pigmented. It's like an orange color, like an orangey red. I don't think that's going to be a color that will be right for me, but it might be a color that's fun to play around with, especially in the fall. So that's the first one. And, oh, the second one I'm going to do for you is I Smell Children, and this is Mary's um, lip kit. She's the one with the dark hair. Come on. <laughs> I love how the quotes are on the sides of the boxes. This one says, I suggest we form a calming circle. Like, that's something she says in the movie. Very cute. Very cute. And this one has a little, it's just so cute. Okay, so this one is Mary's lip kit, the top one. They look so similar. I don't understand why they did their lipsticks all reds so that are like very, 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 very similar. Like, it's kind of like almost, like it's one of those things where my husband's not gonna tell the difference, which he probably doesn't notice the difference when I wear different colors anyway, but. Anyway, so there's that one, and then there's the Sarah one, and it's called I Am Beautiful, and she's the blonde, Sarah Jessica Parker's character in the movie. Okay, and this one I think is more of a berry one, and I might use this one as well. <laughs> These are really, I just love, love the packaging. Okay, so. I'm gonna swatch this one. Okay. I'm gonna swatch it kind of sideways. Okay, this one does look a little bit darker than the the other two. That one. Oh, I just stuck my finger in it. Wow. Yeah, I think I'm okay, so I just wanted to film out my outro for this. Um, I love this look. I will definitely be using this palette a lot. Um, lipsticks, amazing. I don't know how much I'm going to wear them because I wear a mask like every day. But, um, yeah, love it. Um, I can't wait to use this glitter, um, the purple glitter. I'm going to swatch that really quick because I haven't even touched it yet. But it's so pretty. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it's like iridescent sparkles on and then on top of that purple sparkles I don't know if you can see that or not but it's so freaking pretty but um yeah love this love this look um and I can't wait to use it even more so 
hope you guys enjoyed this video thanks for watching